sending and receiving money nowadays in Uganda and globally has become one of the everyday thing. Now this is because friends, relatives and business partners always want to send money somewhere and transact between themselves. But of course when you are sending money there are some questions that you always want to consider. There are some questions that people always ask themselves. And one of them is the charges. Another question is how fast and reliable the money transfer service is. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Charles Lyo and of course I'm that guy showcasing you the beauty of Uganda. Everything you need to know about Uganda, you'll find it right here in this channel. So be sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out. In today's video, I'll be talking about one of the most reliable and trusted international money transfer services that you actually need to use if you want to send money to Uganda or receive money in Uganda. I'm doing this video because uh, I've personally used it and at least I trust it. Please note that this is not a sponsored video. I'm just doing it out of my personal experience. So the service I'm going to mention here have not paid me anything. So now there's one international money transfer service that uh, I've used recently because a friend wanted to send for me some money and uh, we tried others like of course in Uganda back then when you want to receive money everything that people can think of is Western Union but it seems like uh, Western Union is not being very reliable nowadays since they actually tend to limit people's transaction there are some countries they tend to limit people from sending money to or receiving money from and uh, there is one service which is called RIA RIA is R I A now what is RIA RIA was founded in 1987 and uh, RIA is actually one of the international money transfer service that allows customer to receive fund or send fund uh, and uh, across the country and uh, across Africa I would say worldwide right now and uh, once they have sent for you any money you are able to go to the counter in any bank and you receive it now about sending and receiving money using RIA in Uganda to be specific because that is what this video is all about today. RIA uh, have actually over 474,000 locations in over 150 countries so you can imagine that and uh, they have been operating for quite some years. So here are some of the things that you actually need to know about RIA. One, of course, as I told you, RIA operates in over 150 countries. And number two, uh, if someone sends you money on RIA, customers actually do not need to be the account holder in that very bank that they are going to receive their money from, which is uh, quite interesting. So ideally, uh, this means that you can send and receive your money from your favorite bank without having an account in that bank. RIA also offers bank to bank transfer and the bank to bank facilitation I would call it. Now you'll be asking me that what are some of the benefits of RIA in order for you to use them. These are some of the benefits. Number one, RIA is very easy and convenient to use to send or receive money. Number two, customers actually pay no charges when receiving their money. So when someone send you money, assuming you're going to receive it freely at no extra charges. For example, if they send you like a 500,000 Uganda shilling, you will 
go to the counter and receive exactly 500,000 Uganda shilling. Number three, RIA offers favorable forex exchange. That's something quite amazing. You know, you would not want your money to be affected by the forex exchange, which is, you know, that's kind of frustrating. So another benefit of using RIA is uh, they have what is called multi currency and conversation dynamics then lastly the benefits that I've prepared for you today RIA actually as it's affordable and it is cheap now another thing that we'll have to talk about when you want to use RIA of course there has to be requirements you know we all understand things to do with money there's a lot of security in it so you would not just withdraw it anyhow so if someone or if a friend send you money from out and you're receiving it in Uganda, or if you're sending money from out and you want someone to receive it in Uganda, these are the requirements that is needed what bank or your bank will ask of you. One, you need to have a valid international passport or a national ID. Of course, I'm a Ugandan. We all understand what a national ID is. If you tell someone what a national ID is, they will understand. Or if you are not from Uganda, you can use your refugee ID, if you are a refugee, for example. Secondly, uh, you need to have a, what is called a valid money control number, that is for people receiving. It is also known as the order number. When I went to receive my money or to pay, they asked me for what is called an order number. Or if you're familiar with other services or if you've ever received money from out, they'll ask what is called a valid MTCN number. So that is basically a number that the person who has sent for you the money should avail to you so that when you're going to the bank, you go while well ready with it. Another thing, you need to have the sender's correct details, as in you need to have the correct details as uh, the full name of the sender, and then the, the phone number, the country where the money was sent from. Then also uh, the beneficiary's details should, of course, that is very obvious, the beneficiary's details has to be there, like um, your details. Of course, I told you already that you go with your national ID. Then also, lastly, you need to have the amount sent. So if they send for you 500000 you need to go and present to them, tell them that is the amount you receive. Or if they send you 700000 or any amount. So, and uh, RIA has actually partnered with several banks in Uganda, and uh, you can receive or send your money anytime with RIA. What you have to do is simply go to the, to the bank, present those details that I've told you. So that is one of the best and reliable ways to receive money in Uganda that I thought of sharing with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Charles Layo. I do tech videos. I also do travel videos. At the moment, I'm encouraging a lot of people to visit Uganda and, you know, experience the pearl of Africa, the beauty that we have here. So if you want to start a business, you want to come as a tourist, you're most welcome. I always put my number in the description box of my videos so you can contact me through my WhatsApp or through email. Then I will, of course, always be available to assist you. Please look forward to more videos. I'll be bringing you another videos about other international money transfer services that you actually need to do. Don't forget, be sure, please, to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your bell notification. Comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you. See you in my next video.